Hello, everybody. Welcome to Underworld Ascendant. Um, this is a Kickstarter game. Um, I believe it is the last Kickstarter game I ever backed on Kickstarter. Um, and there is a very good reason for that. I guess just your skin tone and build. Um, sure. <laughs> I have pretty skinny arms. I'm a, I'm a big person with skinny arms. It's kind of weird looking. Uh, ha! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds less annoying. It sounds like sort of the, the <laughs> of a of a snarky Japanese R RPG main character, doesn't it? Um, I like higher brightness just in general, but I guess especially when you're doing recordings, it's sort of necessary. So we'll do that. Um, yeah. So this is like the last game I backed on Kickstarter. Um, and then there, there is a very good reason for that. I, I, I had Kickstarter fever. I've, I've been, I've covered this topic, topic many times. If you've watched older videos of something I've, I've kickstarted, or that was just a, a, a Kickstarter game. Um, there are, I mean, if you're watching this video, you know this because the chances of someone who doesn't hasn't backed something in Kickstarter finding my video is. <laughs> Never mind, we got voice dialogue in this game. The so give me a sec. Abyss faces its oldest and greatest threat. Typhon, father of monsters, nemesis of Zeus, threatens to break free the ancient bonds that have imprisoned him for millennia. Local factions held means to halt his rise, but quarreled endlessly as his minions, the dead, struck. Now the factions lie beyond, depleted, all but helpless. Recover the secrets the three factions held. Use that power where they could not. Only one, as clever and resourceful as you, may prevail. Show us a new way, Ascendant. Unite the factions. This seems unnecessary. Save our world. No. And your own. Okay, maybe. Maybe I'll think about it then. The Stygian Abyss is constantly evolving. New challenges, opportunities, and outcast built structures appear every time you visit a region within the Lower Dark. Um, so yeah, so, um... Blah blah blah. I am uh, Kabyrus. Fuck off! I don't care about your Once stupid story. You, Jesus. Now, something less. Hey, shut the fuck up! I don't need any of your shit. I'm I'm, I'm talking to the good people here. In any case, um. So yeah, I had Kickstarter fever, backed the all sorts Stygian of games. Abyss. Is a big and small for the beast Typhon. Notably, um, Pillars Typhon of Eternity, the biggest, I think. In the depths of this place, but has now awoken. Door, 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 don't care. Um, as he rises, the dead Jesus Christ. infused with his power. Each living thing that falls fuels his strength. She brings him one step closer to escaping this prison. Only this volcano keeps him bound, but it will not for much longer. Um, uh, notably, Pillars of Eternity, uh, Banner, Banner Saga, which was one of the earlier Kickstarter games that, that got off the ground. Um, and, you know, just a whole host of disappointing games I can't even remember the name of that are in my Steam library, or... Um, you know, about 50% that aren't. Maybe even bigger percentage that just never made it. Um, actually, um, this game and The Mandate were the last ones I, I backed on Kickstarter, and uh, oh boy, The Mandate, that did, that burned up quick, didn't didn't it? 
Um, in any case, not expecting a whole lot from this game based off of past history. Um, I don't know about everyone else, but I, I was pretty bored by Pillars of Eternity. In fact, I think the only game that I legitimately was like shocked by and, and blown away by, well, actually two games, now, now that I mention it, um, were uh, the Banner Saga and Qu Consortium. Uh, those are definitely my two favorites, and the only games I, I'm pretty sure the only ones I've played to completion. Cool. Good job. Ew. Um, in any case, this game is based off the old Ultima games, right? Uh, where you're in a dungeon and it's supposed to be sort of an immersive sim type experience as well. Uh, which sounded cool. I don't have high expectations for it. Um, I, I just glanced at the reviews and stuff, and people aren't don't seem to be in, enjoying it either. Um, oh, here we go. But you know what? I don't know if that's because of this, you know these nostalgic games can have a backlash if if it's too different from you know if they promise an ultimate like experience and it's not. Jesus, that was creepy. Stop! Welcome I thought we were friends. Is my latest adversary. Oh no no he's he's a bad dude got it oh hang on I need to change this audio real quick um their their voices are quite loud for me I don't know about you um let's just turn that down a bit you don't need you screaming in my ears but I, I like having that oh my god that's still ridiculous what the fuck I guess we'll just turn it down overall. <laughs> Zeus could not stop me. How will you fare? That was a super nice chest for what it contains. Um, but I have no real history with the old games. I never played them. Never really even heard about them. Uh, even though it's you know it's kind of weird. There's like a whole section of games that I just missed. Even though there's stuff I would have loved. As a kid, you know, I played Baldur's Gate and, and those games, um, but like this game, I never really. Um. Uh. Well. <laughs> um. I guess we're loading the game here. <laughs> um. But yeah, apparently this game. Um. From what I I glanced at is a bit of a buggy mess, as you just saw. I am but, oh, oh, fuck off, Kabyrus. Um, now, do I have to go pick up these rotworm fillets again? Um, but the, the uh, uh, bugginess has never really bothered me. Uh, I'm a person who loved Alpha Protocol upon release, not, not you know, a while after. Um, I loved that game, played it all the way through before any patches came through. Um, although I never had any rises, game ending. Wasn't fire, there one over here? Infused with his power. Um, Each living game ending bugs, obviously. Because I'm not someone to replay certain things. Um, and then Consortium was buggy as hell upon release as well. I think that's why... That was the big thing with it, and they did like a whole rework of it and everything. But I played and finished it before that any of that ever happened. And sure, it was kind of wonky. But the thing about Consortium is it had a legitimate cool atmosphere and story and, and it has a lot of, in relation to this in, in that it was meant to be an immersive sim from a small company so I expected some jankiness um, this story is just you know that's different um, well, it's my shut up dude um, so we'll see I don't know I really have no idea what to expect from this game <laughs> Aww. Zeus could not stop me. How will you fear? I mean, it's good that I can do this. That's that's a good sign. Oh, ow, ooh, eesh. Ah, I mean, I can, I can, you know, in real life, punch a chair without bleeding myself. Um, so exploration is a big part of this game. I do know that. And you're supposed to kind of be, you know, just wander into different dungeons. It all takes place underworld, as I 
assume you could imagine from the um, title of the game. But I don't know much more beyond that. I know, I know traps are a thing. I mean, it's a dungeon. What am I, a, a fucking um, modern age player that, that can't handle dungeons? We've got good old mantling. I mean, to you know, in real life, I just call it climbing. I don't know why games have to have a specific name for for going up a ledge. Um, but I guess you know. I guess to be fair, that um, climbing could imply that I could actually climb up this wall, which I can't. So it's like a, a less good cl uh, climbing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, part of this is you're gonna have to interact with stuff and and do things to the environment to get past obstacles and stuff. Which, you know, could be cool, like in that, like if I can hit stuff with, oh. I, that wasn't me walking forward, it just kind of pushed me. It just kind of pushed me off there. Um. So yeah, definitely a, a, a janky ass game so far. But again, like, I can handle that. <clears throat> I've been playing games for a while, and uh, it used to be, I don't know, it just does, it doesn't affect me for some reason. The only thing that actually affects me that, that I am really worried about with this game is apparently they only have checkpoint saving, um, and I am not about, like, like as you can see I had to go back through all this, I mean obviously it depends on how far apart the checkpoints are, but I am not about repeating stuff I've already done. That said, it's mostly about, like, listening to old fuck hair, fuck hair, fuck dude, fuck face, um, multiple times, or having to sit through long cut scenes. If I can approach things potentially differently, um, then I'm not especially concerned about it. You must pass the mysteries and Pluto's Get out of here. Don't tell me what to do. It's an immersive sim, not a not a listen to fuckface sim. Fuck hair sim. Does he even have any hair? I'm pretty sure he he does not. He's got mask hair, and does that count? We but but you know the thing about this game versus consortium uh, that also worries me about it. Consortium was smart in that they contained it to a single plane, right? You're on the you're on the plane the entire fucking time. Um, it's a big plane, mind you, but it has like what three levels and I don't know how many rooms, six per per level. Um, and and even then, you know, I they, I'm sure they had a smaller budget and a smaller team, but it, it they weren't able to to build something just insane. Are these all the tutorials I have to go through to play the game? Because yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, so. Supposedly this game's substantially bigger than that. Um, but if you built good systems behind it, I, I suspect each, each, each sort of area is going to be as janky as the last area. So, you know, we, we experienced some weird shit there. And the only thing that's really, like, annoying was, was the actual, like, stoppage. Oh, okay. I guess that's enough preamble here about Kickstarter and non other nonsense. Uh, I I think there's still games being backed on Kickstarter. It's still going, but obviously not what it once was, which is kind of sad because I really loved the idea behind it. The mysteries but it, of Pluto's gate require application of logic. But it just seems like, I mean. The people you would want to back on Kickstarter are, are like the guy who made RimWorld, um, the Dwarf Fortress guys, the sort of like maniacs that are behind these insane games. But the fact is, those people probably will make the game regardless of Kickstarter. Kickstarter sort of became this place for these these groups of people who were like burned out at their corporate here. job. Um, Alright, shut up. Or these, like, big, um... 
these big companies like Obsidian, who, by the way, just got bought by Microsoft. Um, but again, like, I don't know, I've, I've not really been enjoying the Obsidian games, which is really sad because I fully expected them. I am them. forbidden to speak directly on how to bypass the challenges ahead. Um, which is sad because I expected them to be my... To rotate, hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse, okay. Um, to be my favorite game dev for, for a while. Do I, is there a... Um, but yeah, Clay definitely took that... Took that throne. Which I'm, I'm super happy about that, but... Um, I guess to be fair that I don't really play many RPGs these days, right? Um... I don't know if it's just like a lack of patience on my side or like or what. I'm sure that's some of it, but I don't know, I just can't get into the stories like Pillars of Eternity is just some like RPG bullshit, but on top of that, like I might have got into that, but the fucking what the real time with pause you're not all getting kisses, okay? Well, you're getting a kiss. But no one else! Besides you, obviously, but I mean, that's before I realized I had options. You know? If you only got one choice, in any case. Um, uh, what were we talking about? I got distracted by the lips. Your but yeah, as always with these games... I like messing with the environment and seeing what I can, how to do weird shit to things. Um, and I th think that's what this game's meant to be about. Like they they just give you the tools and say do something with them, and you you're meant to do it. And I like that. So I'm hoping that that's enough for me to like, like can I get like cool magic spells to just like throw shit around and like blow shit up or like suck things in you know that's all I need in life sucking uh, I, I things in like a uh, like a um, force pool it's always good fun so if you can strangle someone like in the old Jedi Knight games can I just take the chest and sell it? I mean, it seems like it's worth a lot of money. Chests are not cheap. Especially ornately carved ones. But they just, like, sit around in here and... Everyone just gets the stuff inside, but not the chests themselves. Is there, like, a... Do you guys remember when the first uh, Bioware game came out? And everyone talked about, like, that you could pour oil on the ground and then set it on fire with the when an enemy walks over it. And everyone thought that was the coolest thing ever. I don't think I ever did that one fucking time, you know? That's just too much, like, waiting for a little payoff. Like, if you kill 20 person... persons? In 5 minutes. 20 people in 5 minutes with your fists. Setting up a trap and then burning them or maybe two or three of them is, is not really going to get get your heart going, right? I don't know. Will we burn ourselves? Almost certainly. No? It's actually surprising, considering it will actually burn objects. Huh. Um, maybe I shouldn't be burning these things, because I think I'm meant to, like utilize them to go forward so let's just take this burning box here okay it does burn me a little bit but it's okay I'm gonna go see if I can burn this door uh-huh why are you telling me what I just did looks like there's actually 
potentially... How long do these things burn? Is there something over here? Is that gonna catch fire? No, I don't, I don't think there's anything there. I don't think that's a thing. Oh, dogs. You love them. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Sort of stepped in the fire there. Come on, buddy. Just, just two more minutes. That's all I ask. <laughs> Come on. Come on, buddy. <gasps> spell. Okay. Let's see how the spell looks and then... I don't know. I'm enjoying this so far. It's, it's hard to make me enjoy a tutorial, but setting a light, a fucking... Each wand is branded with to a use the spell. move plant. Move wood wand. Well, I moved wood. Um, I don't know. It, 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 if you've watched any of my videos, you know I don't tutorial. Huh. Am I... Okay. Fragments of mana float invisibly throughout the Stygian Abyss. Only those with careful ear or special something, something, something. In any case... I forgot. I'm... Which... Okay, whatever. Oh, mana. Why? Is this mana? No. Oh. It says it floats. I assume it just, like, also... Well, you know, we can probably just give this the old push over here. Um, I like that the, that A, that it's a wand and I'm not just like casting a spell, but also that it's such a specific fucking thing. Get the fuck out of my way. Eh. Come on, just step through it, dude. You don't have to fucking get every single piece. Jeez. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I think we'll end it here, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this. I mean, obviously... We have no idea what the story is about or what the world's like, but I'm enjoying interacting with the environment. Um, so that's good. I, that's like one of the main features of the game. So I don't know. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.